Halloween is right around the corner, and if you are looking for more to do than just trick-or-treating, there, there's a Genesee County attraction that's going all out for the holiday. TV5's Lauren Piasco takes us to Flint's Crossroads Village. Ghosts and Goodies is almost into its 40th year now, so it's been quite a long time. Nearly 40 years of Halloween fun, and it can all be found at Flint's Crossroads Village in Huckleberry Railroad. Assistant manager at the village, Brandon Compton, says he sees it as a hidden gem here in Genesee County and wants more people to know about it. So this is actually my second year out here at the village, um, and it's just really exciting. I feel like even just from last year to this year, we've really stepped up our decorations and what we're doing. We have families coming out here year after year, and even this year they're saying, hey, this has been the best year, and we're excited to get those reviews. Because when we look around the village, we feel the same way, and we really think everybody's on their A game this year. Some new highlights to check out include their floating dragon and Skella Barbie display. As for Skella Ken, his job is still beach. One of my favorite things that I love seeing with people come out here is the family costumes. Some families will go all out. Last year we had a whole family of the Adams family. There's probably a dozen of them. They're all dressed in makeup and everything. And also like the Sanderson sisters, you see some truly great costumes. And we can't forget about the oldest attraction here, the Huckleberry Railroad. So the Huckleberry Railroad has been a stable since the park has opened. It's one of the things that we truly cherish out here. The train ride itself is about 50 to 40 to 50 minutes. It goes eight miles in a giant loop. It goes all the way down through the town of Genesee along Mott Lake. It circles back, comes back through the village where you can see everybody waving at the crossing. And then you go back through this other loop before you come back into the station. If you haven't been to Flint's Crossroads Village yet, you can still stop by on Halloween Day from 5 to 9. In Flint, Lauren Piesco, WNEM TV 5.